fall. They're trying to sniff out some runs against Carroll. Troy Rodier gives the Green Knights the one to nothing lead as he goes the other way for the base hit. And later on in the second, Matt Hannon will chase in two more. It's three to nothing in favor of the home squad. The Knights, though, can pick it as well. So you're going to see the great play here at third base. They sweep the doubleheader 11 to 1 and 9 to 2. The Green Knight softball team also on the field. They were hosting UW Eau Claire. Third inning, Morgan Bubols breaks the scoreless tie with the RBI single. Sarah Fern is going to answer back for UW Eau Claire. She takes that one out in a hurry. Two to one, Blue Golds. Fourth inning, Samantha Gross at the plate for St. Norbert. She's not going to get the home run. She gets the game time RBI. Blue Golds win this one. Four or three, your final in 10 innings there. How about a little high school softball? Bayport and Notre Dame in a doubleheader. Tritons down big, trying to come back. Kate Ballison with the RBI. Hannah Smith is going to score. Notre Dame still down 9-1. Bayport would settle down. Lauren Jansen, the strikeout. And then the bats keep coming. It's Danielle Garceau. She's going to rip it down the third base line. Sarah Mueller is going to score. Bayport wins 11-1. Pirates end up winning both games of their doubleheader. How about a little high school baseball? This time it's Xavier in an Eastern Valley matchup with Nina. In the third, it's Rockets. Kenny Joy sends one to left. One run, going to score easily. Here comes the second, and he's out of the play. Let's take a look at the replay. Catcher Tanner Lenoble looks like he made a great tag there. Still 4-1 to one, Nina. Hawks trying to come back. Patrick Hollenbeck with the line drive single. They... Hold the runner at third, but Jack Little scores. That's going to make it 4-2, to two, and that's the final as well. Nina hangs on to win that one there.